know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake discs. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will then push the piston in. Using a 13mm spanner, undo the two caliper mounting bolts. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. Remove the brake caliper and to avoid damaging the brake hose, attach the brake caliper to the suspension with a pre-installed cable. Now extract both of the pads with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the noise dampening shims. To unblock the disc, insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Using a socket wrench and a T30 socket, release the holding screws on the disc. Remove the brake caliper mount. To do this, loosen the two holding screws located on the back of the frame with a socket wrench and a 90mm socket. Take off the brake caliper mount. Finish by removing the screws that fasten the disc on so you can completely take it off. Clean the hub with a wire brush. And once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Before putting the new disc in place, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. You can now put the brake caliper mount in place with the screws having already been greased with copper grease. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. And finishing with a socket wrench and a 19mm socket to fix it completely. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Remove the caliper mounting bolt so that you can correctly clean before coating the new ones with grease. Also, carry out the cleaning of the caliper mounting bolt holes. Depending on the wear and rust of the caliper mounting bolts, it may be a good idea to restore them. 
we strongly recommend watching the tutorial how to properly clean the caliper mounting bolts. This will ensure that you have an efficient braking system and wear down the discs and pads less quickly. Tip: You can use copper grease or a special grease that has been developed specifically for this purpose. Reassemble the caliper mount, taking care to properly put the protective rubber bellows back on using a flathead screwdriver. Pay careful attention to your movements so as not to damage them. Put the new noise dampening shims in place that were provided in the brakes pad kit. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. You can now put the brake pads in place. Careful, the pad with the metallic wear indicator goes on the inside. Replace the caliper. You can now put back on and reassemble the caliper mounting bolts. Do not forget to put in the new bolts supplied that have been pre-coated with red locking fluid. Don't forget to withdraw the electrical cable or string that you attach to hold the caliper. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed!